Today we're talking about Doja Cat for one very simple reason. Conspiracy theorists believe that she has officially sold her soul to the industry. And this very well may be proof of that. Okay, so first let's talk about the Red Shoe Club. Why is the Red Shoe Club important? And how does Doja Cat fit into the Red Shoe Club? Somebody on Reddit asked, what is the Red Shoe Club? What's up? What's going on? And this right here is one of my favorite answers, okay? So here it is. It says, there is this big theory that the royal family, Hollywood, and other elites are part of the Red Shoe Club, where they kidnap, traffic, SA, and kill, and sometimes even eat young children, and then use their skin to make human leather. People believe that those red shoes are made from human skin, and people that wear them are part of this evil, despicable, pedophilic organization. On the red carpet, they ask each other, who are you wearing? And theorists think they literally mean what child or which child are you wearing instead of what designer designed your outfit? Wow. So I want you all to think about that for just a quick second. I want you to consider that this may be true, that there's some type of elite club of people, super rich, super powerful, that eat children and, and skin them alive and all this stuff. Okay, all right. Let's just sit there for a second. Now, I want you to consider Doja Cat one more time. I want you to think about this red, all red on the skin, on the body outfit that she wore. And I want you to think about the Red Shoe Club. All right. Now, while that's on your mind, let's take a look back at what she looked like. She ended up wearing 30,000 blood red crystals that were glued to her body. Body glue, of course, not, you know, super glue or gorilla glue, but body glue. 30,000 blood red crystals. Now, why is this important? Well, before we get straight into that, let me show you what she looked like first, okay? I, I, want, I just want you to see what we had going on here. I want you to look at this. This, this is what she, this, this was this, this. <laughs> this is what she walked in with, okay? Now, when you hear about the humiliation rituals and stuff like that, that this goes well beyond any humiliation ritual anything that you've ever heard of, okay? This goes directly into, and a lot of conspiracy theorists believe, may actually be her turning point, her official turning point into selling her soul into the industry, okay? What do you think Doja Cat looks like after I just described to you what the Red Shoe Club was? What does Doja Cat look like in this picture? You know what? I'll take you even further. Let's discuss how Lady Gaga came to the red carpet once and she was wearing a meat suit. Did you forget about the meat suit? I'll remind you about the meat suit. This is what Lady Gaga wore. Something, again, when it happened, everyone was laughing about this. Everyone thought it was funny. Everyone thought it was, oh, wow, look at her. She looks so unique. But now when we look at it again, isn't it strange? We just talked about children getting assaulted and killed and eaten. And two of some of the most Popular artists come out in an all red outfit from head to toe, literally head to toe. And years ago, a woman that came outside in a literal meat dress, a suit made out of meat. Is anyone catching my drift here? These women are dressed as human beings who were skinned and have nothing left but muscle. I'll say it again. Doja Cat and Lady Gaga, to some conspiracy theorists, they are dressed as people who have been skinned and there's nothing left but muscle and blood. Now, again, consider the Red Shoe Club, all right? What type of message are they sending wearing these outfits, looking like this, all right? Let's, let's look at the video. Let's make sure we actually watch the video, okay? Let, let's look at this. Look at her from head to toe. And yes, she's wearing red shoes, Okay. That's what she looks like. Look at this. No, 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 one's, no one's getting nervous about this. No one sees this and finds there to be a problem. Think about the Red Shoe Club again. These women are dressed as if someone was skinned. And, and you know what? I'll take it even further. Now, I'm going to give a trigger warning before I show this. Because, again, this ties together the theory. Okay? Now, if you don't want to see this particular image or these images you could turn away. In fact, I'll even blur them just a little bit so that you guys aren't super freaked out. But I have to connect these dots for you so you understand where the minds of conspiracy theorists are. This is what Lady Gaga and Doja Cat look like 
to a conspiracy theorist. You ready? Here we go. I'm showing it. Trigger warning. It's happening right now, okay? They look like this. They look just like this. This is what they look like. They look, they look like skinned human beings. Human beings that lack skin on their bodies. That is what Doja Cat and Lady Gaga look like on the red carpet. Now again, we can have a larger discussion about what that means, who this affects, what is it like all you can have a discussion about that. But it's important to talk about the conspiracy theory alongside these photos. Because again, if Lady Gaga and Doja Cat are a part of some elite club, right? And they are, you know, maybe they're trying to send a message to the general public. Maybe what we're seeing is only meant for the eyes of conspiracy theorists who understand the dog whistles and who know what to listen for and what to look out for. Maybe this is a whole red flag that they're waving in our faces, letting us know what they're really into without saying it outright. Who knows? I don't know. Look, I, listen, I tell people this all the time. I'm here to report the theories, okay? I, I'm not going to tell you whether or not I truly believe these theories. I, You know, that's up in the air. I'm just reporting them. Skinned body, skinned bodies, right? No skin on the body, head to toe. We just talked about children who are being skinned alive, who are being eaten, who are being taken advantage of. And now we look at Doja Cat, who's in an all red suit, head to toe, walking down the red carpet in red shoes. The shoes, the body, the art on her, the jewels and all that stuff. Some believe it's supposed to represent a skinned body. Connecting again right back to the Red Shoe Club. Basically, Doja Cat started off this journey of selling her soul and all of that way in the beginning of her music career, okay? They say, conspiracy theorists believe that on her 27th birthday, that is when she crossed the threshold and the signatures were signed and blood and everything was done. Now, why is the 27th birthday important? Because the 27th birthday represents the 27th club. Anybody that died before they turned 28 years old was apparently part of the 27 club of musicians who might have sold their soul and they had to pay up before the age of 28. Some believe the 27 club was people who decided not to give their souls after all. And at the 27th year, they were killed because of it. There's a lot of theories around the 27 club. But the point is that many conspiracy theorists believe that she graduated from the 27 club. She avoided whatever pitfall happens at age 27 that makes you die as an artist or as a musician or as a famous person. And during her graduation party, i.e. her birthday party, she decides to dress up like this. Now, why is her dressing up like this important? Well, this is interesting because she's dressing up exactly like a character from a movie called Eyes Wide Shut. Eyes Wide Shut was a movie that was based on the elite class that had a sacrificial satanic cult that would sacrifice human beings. This is what the cult looked like. And notice how the patterns on her mask are actually very similar to the man in this photo, who again is part of that elite cult. Moving forward, there's so many more signs that Lady Gaga and uh, Doja Cat were part of some type of elite organization because there's a lot of similarities in the way that they talk and the way that they function and some of their songs that they write. Now, even Lady Gaga has been accused of satanic rituals. In fact, here's a story that a lot of people don't talk about. This story is about how she supposedly, according to this article, left a London hotel with a bathtub full of blood. I I'm just saying, look, I'm just, I'm just reporting it. I'm just reporting it. That's all I'm doing, okay? It is said that Lady Gaga left a hotel in London with a bathroom full of blood. And there's all other parts of this report that says Lady Gaga left a large amount of blood in the suite during the stay in the summer. The incident was reported to concierge who was told to put it out of her mind. In other words, forget about it. Lady Gaga is currently being sued by her former assistant. This is because the ex-employee alleged that she's responsible for ensuring the promptness of a towel following a shower and serving as a personal alarm clock for the singer. During these satanic rituals, uh, they often do humiliation tactics and stuff like that on people. 
So uh, this personal assistant felt as though that Lady Gaga was adding her into this ritual by making her some type of, uh, you know, humiliation slave. And the personal assistant didn't like that very much. Now, of course, talking about Do uh, Doja Cat, we, we had to talk about Lady Gaga because Lady Gaga came in a literal meat suit. Again, from head to toe. Her head had a piece of salami on it and her toes had pepperonis, baby. That's how she dressed. She walked in there looking just like that. It's hard to deny. Listen, again, I'm not going to tell you whether I believe it. I, I'm just reporting it. But when I look at this and I look at these stories side to side, it's very interesting. That's all I have. That's it. I just wanted to show you guys that. That's it. You can go. Goodbye.